Uh, let's take a look at our first type of problem you should know how to work. Um, the first one, find the center and radius of the following. And I got a couple examples, so we'll have something to take a look at here. And, um, okay, so we got x squared plus y squared minus 10x plus 8y plus 32 equal to zero. Now remember our, our first step, uh, well we can't have any numbers in front of the x squared, so we'd divide everything by a number if, if we had to. But um, then we're going to group the x's together, so put the x squared minus 10x next to each other. I'll put the y t y's together, so we've got y squared, I'll learn to talk someday, y squared plus 8y together, and I'll take the number to the right side, so a negative 32 over there. Now we want to complete the square on the x's, so we take the number of this before our x, which is negative 10, and we're going to multiply it times a half, and we're going to square it. That gives us negative 5 squared, or 25, and then we're going to add that to both sides. So I got x squared minus 10x plus 25, and we'll also add it to this side. Now we'll also complete the square in the y's. So we'll take the number before our y, which is 8, multiply it times a half, and square it. 8 times a half is 4, 4 squared is 16. And we'll add that to both sides. So I got y squared plus 8y plus 16, and then a plus 16 over here. Now this factors, this factors as x minus 5 squared. This one factors as y plus 4 squared. Very easy to factor those. Whatever number's right here, right before you square it, is always what goes right here. Whatever number's right here, sign included, um, always what goes right here. And if we add these together, uh, let's see, 25 plus 16 gives us 35, 41, 41, no, that's not, is 9. Okay. Now, instructions are to uh, find the center and radius. So this is going to be our h, and it's going to be opposite sign, so it'll be 5. This is going to be our k, and it'll be opposite sign, which is negative 4. And this is going to be our r, and it'll be the square root of whatever number's there, which is 9. So square root of 9 gives us 3. Excuse me. So our center is hk, which is 5, negative 4. And our radius is equal to 3, or r. Let's take a look at our second example. We have 4x squared plus 4y squared minus 4x plus 24y plus 21 equal to 0. First step, we're going to divide everything by 4 to get uh, rid of the numbers before the squareds. So I divide that by 4. This by 4, this by 4, this by 4, this by 4, and this by 4. So we got x squared plus y squared minus x plus 6y plus 21 over 4 is equal to 0. Uh, I want to group the x's together. So I got x squared minus x. I got y squared plus 6y. And I'll take the 21 fourths to the right side and it becomes a negative 21 fourths. Okay, so let's complete the square on the x's. We're going to take the number of this before our x, which is a negative 1, multiply it times a half, and square it. Negative 1 times a half is negative 1 half, and negative 1 half squared is 1 fourth. So we'll add that to both sides. So we've got x squared minus x plus 1 fourth. And over on this side, we've got negative 21 over 4 plus 1 fourth. We also want to complete the square in the y's. So we'll take the number before our y, which is 6, multiply it times a half, and square it. 6 times a half is 3, 3 squared is 9. And we'll add that to both sides. Now this factors as x minus 1 half squared, and this one factors as y plus 3 squared. Again, that is so simple. 
Whatever number's right here, right before you square it, sign included, is always what goes right there. Whatever number's right here, right before you square it, sign included, is what goes right here. Now, negative 21 over 4 plus uh, 1 over 4 is negative 20, negative 20 over 4, or negative 5, plus 9. So we got x minus 1 half squared plus y plus 3 squared equals 4. Now this is in standard form. So this is our h, and it'll be opposite sign, which is 1 half. And this is our k, and it'll be opposite sign, which is negative 3. And this will be our r, and we take square root of it. So square root of 4, which gives us 2. Now our center is hk, which is going to be 1 half negative 3. And our radius will be r, which is equal to 2. And those would be our answers uh, for that, that particular one.